what is going on i'm starting this out with these two replays that are on top of each other because i'm hopeful the person on the right on both of these i didn't know it was the same person both times but they're level one and both of the people they played against are level 35 I'm hoping that this is just some smurf that's gonna pop the hell off. I have less confidence in that, um, now that... That wind spacing and using George and blowing it back kind of gave me a little bit of hope, but I think... Yeah, I think they're just hitting buttons. <laughs> As I said, I was hopeful that uh, they would be, you know, like some just prodigy or a smurf or something or other. Um, I think I think we can confidently say from the level of play that I've seen so far, that's not what's happening. So let's just go. Hey, what's going on? We're just starting. You saw nothing. I'm too lazy to restart over an entire minute. <laughs> so I gotta press two buttons. You want me to press stop recording? I gotta press start recording again? Nah. Can't be bothered. So anyway, I gotta stop. I think, I think, we're gonna see how this goes. Because I've seen a few replays from this Ichi song, dude. And uh, I've been skipping them. Because honestly, I have never been impressed by this man's ass -root. But seeing that he was up against a decently high level Taokaka, I feel like I owed it to the universe to give Taokaka a time to potentially shine. Very nice roll catch. That's what, this is what I'm hoping for. Like I said, I've kind of given up on seeing good solid Azrael play from this dude but maybe their opponent might make up for it you know they carry the match like if you play any MOBAs there are plenty of people myself included I'm not a carry player I will never be a carry player but what I can be is an excellent role player let me play tank let me play, play frontline let me be the engager and I will give you all of the rule I'll give you all the engages necessary for you as a carry to pop off. I will peel for you if necessary so that you can pop off. I can do that part. You know what I mean? Not everybody's meant to be a carry. So right now, I'm hoping this Taokaka is a carry. That, like, translated in no way. Oh, he tried the combo. Okay, but he had metered rapid. We're kind of okay. It would have been a lot cooler if that hadn't dropped, but still. That play, that was very plus. I'm kind of surprised. That was the kind of rapid cancel I do. Oh, could have died. What a shitty way to end. Uh, if he had seen that counter hit in time, definitely could have just instantly gone into Blackhawk Stinger and killed. Which is something a top level Asriel would do. I.e. not this dude. I.e. not me. But somebody that was actually good. And it would have been very impressive and very cool. Speaking of very impressive and very cool, what I was hoping for is not happening. And I am not impressed, and I am not finding this cool. On the plus side, this Taokaka is currently running a perfect. And drop the combo again. Has this Taokaka finished one combo? Now, now that I'm thinking about it, has she genuinely finished one single combo? We take those, we take those! Nice reset, bitch! Not really a reset, but, you know, off of a landed non weak point five D it's basically a reset. Get advantage and you're gonna run a mix up off of it. Dash up six A got the counter hit. It worked. Are we finishing the combo? I hope I didn't just curse him. It's not looking like still got a couple more moves to go. I didn't curse him. She finished the combo. Let's go. Caught the back dash as well. We got level of place to watch this She just needed to warm up a little bit. She just needed to warm up. It's like those kinds of people that just, you know, like they're, whether they're boxers or MMA fighters or, you know, whatever, sometimes they just got to get hit a little bit and then it turn it corrects their wiring enough to the point where now, okay, now I see this. Now I see you. Now I'm excited. Now I'm having fun. And now they start really showing what they got in the tank. But it takes a couple of those hits to register first before they, they get activated. That's what had to happen. Just needed to get punched in the mouth a couple times. Then got pissed off and started to punch back. Speaking of getting pissed off. 
Good luck, Tanger. This is a fun matchup. Here's the hilarious part. I used to think, I used to think when S first dropped that this matchup wasn't that bad. Holy shit, how wrong I was. Like, everything about her kit is essentially just designed to abuse a big body. I mean, they're really, if you... Alright. But if you are a good S player, <laughs> oh, that sucks. There is genuinely nothing, if you just play patiently and methodically, there is nothing Taker can do. Which, I mean, to be fair, is true of, like, maybe five or six different characters in the game where, like, there's genuinely... Your only shot is a really, really, really good spark bullet. You will never get a hit outside of that. So that includes S, Amane, Hazama, maybe Arakuni. I don't know. That's a, that one's a bit tougher. Um, Marakamo units. Would I add Kokonoe in there? I don't think so, because Kokonoe kind of has to... You know, one of the hallmarks of all those characters that I just mentioned is that all of them can run their offense. My! All of those characters can run their offense from a safe distance. Whereas Kokonoe? Not really. She actually got to come in to Tager's range to get good hits. Otherwise, all she's going to be getting are like 1,500 damage combos or some shit. So she does kind of have to take a few risks. So even though that matchup is still not great... Um, uh-oh, we running it back? He's only gonna need one more hit, and he has all the meter in the universe to get it with. Why would you- why would you do that? Why would you- you have three hits! You had three hits! To hit- or actually, no, two, but still, two really slow hits to hit confirm that. Into Atomic Collider Whiff to guarantee the kill, and instead you go for the dumb- Man! He had his shot, and he just ruined it, going for a hit confirm that he should have known was not going to work against S because she's tiny. Ooh, he may have been able to whip punish that, to be honest. Kind of like that double jump. Gives him a neat little setup. Must not, I mean, I'm, I've never in my life. Damn, he's dead. That's a brave burst, and I respect it, and I hope it doesn't bite you in your ass. Could have whiff punished that, and it bit him in his ass because he had an opportunity. Susano hung that opportunity right out in front of him, dangled some meat, said, Come get it, son. Didn't bite, and died for it. Absolutely track. Damn. He was blocking high before that move even came out. Absolutely zero respect for that offense. I know what you're going to do. But unfortunately, the Jin doesn't seem to really know what he's doing. It's just so weird. Like, this is a Hades player. Shouldn't he be better? God damn it. I, I mean, it's just the overall feeling, but it's still just a constant source of disappointment of, like, these are the highest ranked motherfuckers. Y'all should be better. Damn. Is Jin dead? God damn, so why they buff this character? Genuinely. Why they buff this character? That's one of the most unnecessary buffs. I mean, I don't know why I'm asking that. It's Arc System Works, and we all know their balancing team is hot garbage. But still, that was a ridiculously unnecessary buff, especially in... The see. I wouldn't even be that mad about it if not for the fact that Susano was already kind of on the upper levels, tier-wise. Like, he was mid-high. He was never bad. And then you got characters in this game, like Noel, Bullet, Tager, Tarumi, who are just sitting there like, yo, what about me? What about you? Shut the fuck up. You're not new anymore. <laughs> Or Jubei, now that I'm thinking about it. Although Jubei never got a balance patch. They just dropped him. Said, peace out. We're going to make cross-tag battle. Effort well fucking spent, Team Blue. 
<laughs> I'm not salty. Coconut Oil really, I'm telling you, Coconut Oil ruined everything. Corner Phantasm was the peak. It was the most sales that a Blaze Blue game had ever gotten, has ever gotten as far as I'm aware. I don't think anything's eclipsed it. Um, had the best EVO Finals in my personal, at, well not necessarily EVO Finals, had the best EVO Tournament in my opinion of any Arc System Works game, period, before and since. And then Kokonoe drops. I mean, a Kokonoe had already dropped by that point, but let's ignore that little tidbit. Kokonoe drops. Absolutely annihilates the balance of the game overnight. Forces basically a, pa a panic balance patch. Otherwise, tournaments were going to start banning her. And ever since then, she's been downhill. It's just been straight downhill. Nothing has gone right. And now we're at a point where Mori departed, Arc System Works, and Blaze was probably dead. So, I'm just saying, it's Kokonoe's fault. Prove me wrong! Science is on my side! I'm just saying. I'm just saying! Nice blocks. Aw, oh, can't block them all! Don't you just love those doll supers? Where you can block amazingly well. Like, four, five, maybe even six mix-ups. But hey, I still got a seven, maybe an eight. This is so dirty, and there's nothing you can do about it. Once you're blocking it, you're done. Like, you can't dead angle out because the doll's just gonna hit you afterwards anyway. If you invincible super out, the doll's gonna keep on going in you, and eventually that invulnerability's gonna wear off, and you're gonna get hit. Unless you manage to kill the doll first, but no good rally is just gonna leave the doll in a killable state when using that super. So it's just, it's brutal. God damn it, what's wrong with me? I can't even breathe right. Oh, that's it. Okay. Cool. I was paying attention. I love these two characters. I can't believe I wasn't paying better attention. Speaking of loving these two characters, help me. This is actually the main reason. Like, I feel bad that most of the... I mean, I'm either just posting, like, really short clips, or I'm posting replay theaters lately. But, like... Unfortunately, this is kind of one of the, I mean, this isn't really necessary, because I'm not playing the same people over and over again. I got kind of and I'm definitely starting to get familiar with a few names in PC Blaze Blue, but I'm just fighting the same characters over and over again, and they're all characters that I hate. Like, it wouldn't be a problem if I, you know, fought them occasionally, but then I had other characters that I was going up against at the same time, but recently it's just been like, hey, here's a bunch of Marakamo units, here's... 27 different Hazumas. Let's give you 13 Ragnas to mix it up a little bit. Which, to be fair, Ragna's not that bad for Azrael. Like, I hate the Ragna versus Tager matchup. Azrael, it's not that bad. But it's still just, like... I'm just fighting, like, the same pool of five characters non-stop every single time I boot up the game and try to play it. It's just getting so boring. And I'm just not having a good time. Well, I feel bad about it, but at the same time... It feels even worse to be playing the game right now. Just like it feels bad. This light, she, she's getting her ass beat. She, yeah, she does have a staff. I couldn't. I didn't remember if it had come back or not. So at least she has a potential DP. Ooh. But now that I saw, because I was thinking about it, like Moo could probably run her offense at a distance where deep the first hit of DP is not going to matter. It's not going to hit. And it almost happened the way I thought it was going to, but then Moose stick stuck out of hitbox. And got smacked for it. Ooh, sorry, my DPs are better. Red like a book. Why she brought it back. 4K, god damn. Lychee's showing some hints of her old superiority back in the CS days. Certainly do not miss those. Where, like, you genuinely got hit once by Lychee. No matter where you got hit on the screen, she was taking you to a corner. And she was gonna make enough meter to push you into the blender. The guaranteed, you know, three, four mix-ups. But now that's, that's her overdrive super now, right? Like, she can't do that. That's a bummer. 
they, I, just, I know they changed something about it. So she doesn't have that ability anymore. She really does have... So, so far, she has a 100% success rate on her DPs, but also, I feel like this Moo has gotten hit on Wake Up every single time, and she got hit again. Like, you've been hit on every single one of your Wake Ups, and for some reason, you're still waking up with a butt nut. To be fair, she is currently winning. So I can't argue with the results. I suppose. Nice, that's dirty. That's fucked up, that's fucked up. That's just fucked up. That was the first wake up. And of course, it's gonna be the one that gets the kill. That's the first time that Moo waking up with something in this entire match actually worked. And of course, it's the hit that gets her the win. I like this Asriel. This is just, this is a clean Asriel color. Wake up, Growler. Not wake up. Round start, Growler. I don't know, but nice chase down though. That was slick. Ooh, yeah. Why? I don't know why that has such like that has such an amazing uh success rate. Like for some reason, people just get hit by uh 3D on their wake up almost every single time. It's kind of nuts. That was way too late. Speaking of corner to corner, that looked fun. We dead? Nah, she's not doing that much damage. Careful of the ground. I'm kind of surprised she didn't try to fade it out a little bit. Let him hang himself. I mean, it didn't matter. Got the win. But this Azrael has been very growler happy. And it's very easy to punish if you're looking for it. That just catches the backdash for free. Of course it does. I don't know why that didn't occur to me, but yeah, that's kind of nasty. Definitely cannot backdash against newer Lambda in the corner. I wonder if this dude's ever played against a Lambda. Like, or at least a good one. Because, I mean, this Lambda's controlling space against Asriel absolutely perfectly. But, at the same time, the Asriel is making it really, really easy for her. Like, you can never use Gustav Buster if a Gravity Seed is there. And he tried to do it, what, twice? I know for sure twice. I think three times. And he got punished for it both times. Ow. So yeah, that's a uh, just really well played by the lambda. That's that's and the other thing too is like you'll get matches like that where you'll have one player who plays really well, but it's so incredibly rare to get both. Why is it so impossible to find like a really solid match where I'm impressed by both players? Very nice counter poke by the bang. Got like that combo. Roll. Nice hit confirmed too. This bang has no respect. Just hitting all of his buttons. Just like that too. Zero respect. And to be fair, haven't seen anything yet that requires him to show respect. I think he's trying. Nice. Can't nah. Too far away. A lot of the times at that height, yo, hit confirm something. Thank you. Not bursting? You're not bursting. Send me a savior. I need a hero. I need a hero! I mean, to be fair, at the very least, seeing stuff like this should give you a lot of satisfaction in your own, like, hey man, if these, pe if these people can hit leader playing like this, you can too! That's my motivational speech for the day. Look at these dumbasses. 
Y'all can definitely do it yourselves. There we go! He dropped it. How do you drop that? Bang! Hit confirm something. Why did he not go? Isn't the seal that he... Oh my god, you're so bad. What the hell? Look at... <laughs> I have to watch another round of this. It's not over. I have to go through another round of this. I have a... I'm pretty sure I have a bang replay saved, right? I have to watch that after this. Sorry for the noise. I lean back in my despair. I know I think that's the third time. But I lean back and then lean forward. Lean back! Is that Ludacris? Who's the lean back guy? Oh my god. Thank you for finally actually kind of sort of hit confirming something. What the hell? Oh my lord above. And Bang still to this day has not bursted. He, he hung on to his burst through thick and thin. Did not give a single shit. <laughs> I didn't just stop. I should have just stopped at 150. I should have just called it a day. It really does make, like, this is kind of the main thing that makes me sad that PC Blaze Blue doesn't have replay theater. Because there are a lot of really good players that are grinding rank. Well, not maybe not grinding, but still, that have hit higher levels of rank that I would love to pull replays from. But I don't think any Arxis game has replay theater on PC. Under Knight does, but that's not really an Arxis game. And even then, it still it doesn't. It may exist, but it doesn't function terribly well. God, I love Bang. God, I love Bang. Oh, if only I didn't have such shitty execution, I, I could actually play this dude. Oh! Doing damage. Oh my lord! It's still going. We still got a couple more hit. There it is. 4,500. Ooh, we're hopping out of that, but he gets caught. Yeah, he gets caught, doesn't he? Don't I remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still gets caught. He's gonna get caught eventually, but he's still alive. What are you gonna do? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You gotta watch this entire screen. This is just your life. Understanding, knowing that the second it's over, you're dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I love me some bang. Why can't I get more? Like, that was a good match, man. That was a good match. Why can't I get more of that? Damn it. <laughs>